This video is going to show what's new in version 4.295. The first thing that's new is a new currency meter. If you click load and then go down to the chart examples, you will find uh, a new currency meter called new currency meter sortable FX build a trend live only. And also uh, updated is uh, the range chart with the new FX build a trend histogram on it set up. Some people might uh, find that it's easier and better to build a new workspace than use the ones they have now, mainly because we've uh, changed the FX build a trend histogram and with new uh, indicator options and, and default weights and it might overweight certain things uh, if you have, are loading a, a saved workspace. So you might unfortunately and sometimes very rarely but occasionally there's no other option you know, when an improvement is of this magnitude uh, that people might just have to create uh, new workspaces. So when you load the new currency meter at sortable build a trend live only, this is what it looks like. And the difference from the older one, and the older one it looks like this, is that before we had the build your own trend that showed mostly intraday weightings. And underneath that on this one we have the 15 minute trend hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. Too many traders were complaining that uh, all these different time frames, some of them going up, some of them going down, like you can see the pound here. Uh, real time up, 15 minute hourly up, daily up, the weekly is mixed, the monthly is down. Which way do you trade? Do you buy or sell? Uh, and so that's why I've enhanced the new currency meter with these options. I've given less weighting to intraday time frame, but, but only by a little bit. And I've added the new daily, weekly, and monthly uh, options to this with these weightings. I also added a third FX power index. The FX power index basically measures and lets you know what percentage of currencies are trending up or down on different time frames. The first one uses a range chart. In this case, it uses a five pips per bar range chart for all the currencies, and it gives it a 10% weight. The second one uses a 15 minute bar, 20 period moving average, what percentage of currencies are above or below this longer term moving average, and, and of course they have the hourly too, which is a new one I added as well. It's good to give a little bit longer term. I only give 5% weight to this. Uh, on the monthly trend, I'm only weighting the monthly trend 4%, the weekly trend 13%, the daily trend 18%. So combined, the longer time frame trends now have about 35% uh, weighting, and the rest of them, which are basically real-time fast tools, have 65% um, weighting. And you can clearly look at this and know when a currency like the yen at midnight is weak and over at or above the 80 level, it's extremely weak. It, it's very clear without a doubt you want to be selling the yen and you want to be selling the yen against you know currency maybe at 3 o'clock here like the CAD. You want to be buying the CAD yen. So if you bring up the CAD yen chart, you can, as you can see in today's blog video, you know, you buy this breakout here, it goes up, you buy this pullback, it goes up, you bought this pullback here, you might have lost, you buy the next pullback here, and it goes up. Uh, it's pretty clear and self-explanatory. You know, earlier in the day, you can see, especially around 2.30, the euro is super strong. So, without a doubt, there's no ambiguity whatsoever. You want to buy the euro versus the yen, and you would have actually even started, if you trade the euro yen, be buying it before, because you can clearly see more strength. There's one five-minute bar of weakness, but that's it. At uh, 2.30, it's pretty clearly strong again. The euro yens, uh, you're looking to buy. And you can see 2.30 up, sideways up, pullback up, pullback up, sideways breakout up, pullback, it tries to go up. It's a no-brainer. And so I've taken all the ambiguity out with the new currency meter. And for those who don't want to use the new currency meter, all you do is uh, simply go to that indicator and if you don't want any daily uh, trend weighting or weekly trend weighting or monthly trend weighting you just get rid of it and just reassign that 35% weighting to some of the other tools. Uh, some of the faster indicators on here are trend candles, the first one I use 5 minute bars, what percentage of trend candles are going up or down, 
this power index you could definitely give more weighting if you don't want to use daily weekly monthly the range ADX the old version weighted this at 30 percent it's a phenomenal tool it uses range bar five pips per bar data uh, and if you don't want to use this stuff on the bottom I would definitely recommend putting that back to 30 percent now if you load uh, our sample range chart click load go to chart examples and click range chart you will see that for this I'm not uh, showcasing any of the longer time frame trends in there it looks very similar to this you will click on this and find the build a trend histogram and you can see I don't have any daily weekly or monthly weighting and I do have uh, pretty much the old uh, weightings I had before because the currency meter can be a little slow in changing from a downtrend to an uptrend or from an uptrend to a downtrend it's mainly used to help you identify which currencies to focus on then when you're watching the currency you want to see a very fast build your own trend tool that doesn't necessarily have any of the longer term what the weekly and monthly trend does does not really impact uh, or should not in my opinion impact the real-time one you're using on your chart so like if you buy right here and you see it go up with a lot of strength you can hang on if it goes up and goes sideways and the strength falls off you can exit with a small profit uh, it lets you see every down move but there's not much weakness now if you had longer time frame trends in here you would see even less weakness and you wouldn't necessarily know what's causing the less weakness is it very little um, pullback intensity or is it because the longer term trend is so strong that you just don't see it and so that uh, gives you the power of both uh, the power of uh, longer time frame trends in the currency meter to let you focus really on the ones that are most likely to go up or down and then for your real-time tools you because it has so much options and you can set it however you want uh, it has you know the ability for you to have much faster settings and that's why we call it the build your own trend what else is new in version 4.295 is an updated version of our uh, FX trade signals. Now this is the older one because I left this running overnight. If you go to add uh, script, you go to FX trade signals, and you can see trend up color, trend down color, and breakout color, just for colors uh, on the chart. And you can see uh, different signals here now and, and if you click on them you, you can see what they are number four trend sell uh, day value area down sell you can see the value area there came up to that level most of the time that's a trade that's going to uh, find a high probability trade breakout here uh, you can see the point of control of the previous day this is a new uh, trade system and there's many different uh, trade signals that are in the new one that aren't in the old one. It's much more sophisticated. It's about 5,500 lines of code. I'm going to be continually improving it, but because in my opinion it's 100%, uh, I mean, I have 100% confidence it's better than the FX trade signals we had before. It has fewer losing trades, better, much better counter trend signals than before. Uh, it's going to help traders uh, significantly, especially new traders that don't know how to trade. So you use a currency meter to find the strongest ones to buy and the weakest ones to sell and then wait for a buy signal if, if it's a currency that you want to be buying and you know you'll know when to get out you can use a trailing stop uh, as your exit I mean I should have said you'll know when to buy when the signal shows up and you'll get out when the trailing stop or use Fibonacci profit targets or support resistance to exit your trade and that's it that's what's new for version 4.295